Hey, so welcome back to Big Board. I thought I'd uh, do a quick little chat about uh, reviews and uh, assessments and commentary on games and, and things like that. Uh, and and the, the ability to trust what anyone says in regards to a, a review in our little baby niche of, uh, of gaming, you know, the, the war game market segment. And I'm only referring, obviously, to, to war games. I don't know how uh, Euro stuff works, but... I was watching some other videos uh, recently on uh, some tech blogs about their standards and the way that they do things, and it struck me that, you know, I've... I've uh, I think I've been doing most of the, the right things, which is good, but it struck me that it, it might be time as the marketplace matures a little bit that uh, folks that are doing blogs or uh, videos and things like that uh, take a more serious look at the guidelines that are made available by the FTC for all of us to use when when we're uh, doing reviews or whatever you want to call it. Like I, I do initial impressions and things and people call them reviews. I don't really look at them as reviews because typically I'm only playing the game once or twice, generally speaking. So it's it's not a, a deep, dark, right down in the uh, weeds, uh, detailed assessment. But anyway, what the, what's important, I think, and I what I, believe I've done uh, as, uh, all, all the time, most of the time, uh, in many or most cases, is uh, let you know when I've received free things. Uh, and that even if, and apparently with the FTC rules, even if you're, you're, you're not mentioning, if you're mentioning a product in passing and talking about something else, you're supposed to reference the fact that you got those things for free as well. So it's kind of, kind of weird. Uh, but the, I guess the net of it is, if you look at the, any sort of write-ups I do or videos I do, if I receive that game for free or uh, as a discount, then I think that's a, that's one thing, right? Where I should absolutely be saying to you, hey, look, you know, this is uh, something that I've received, uh, complimentary from the company and they're hoping that I'll play it or review it or take some pictures of it or whatever the case may be. And I'm pretty sure I'm doing that nearly all the time, if not all the time. And then the other side of the equation, which really doesn't happen very much at all uh, for, for me, is what I would call collaborations or collabs, right? So where I organize with a vendor, a publisher to conduct a program with them and they would pay me for that or pay me for my time for that and that hasn't happened ever yet <laughs> i'm happy to take money under the guise of the fact that i would be doing that specific sort of work for them uh, but it would be all declared up front that it would be a collaborative project and that I would be receiving compensation for that. And I'm not, and in that case, I'm not talking about just receiving a free game. So uh, that really doesn't, you know, to, in, to my mind, doesn't really count, uh, but that would go in the other bucket of, uh, of those sort of review copy things and, and things of that nature. And I think they're the two main things that tend to happen in our industry, right? Is the, you, you probably look at folks that might uh, do a uh, collaboration where they've been asked to uh, do a, a video or a series of videos or do a review and uh, there might be some guidelines and structure built around that whether they want it to be you know x or y minutes long uh, cover these topics or whatever that's sort of what i would call a collaborative uh, project and i think that is awesome and people do those things that's cool but it's the murky gray area that uh, I, I i hope that when you watch videos that I do or assessments that I write up or assessment videos that I record, you know the difference between the difference between when I'm uh, have received a product uh, for free or not. And I think you can trust that I will speak my mind whether it's 
you know, whether I'm right or wrong, right, it's just one opinion, right? And opinions are like backsides, we all have one. So I would encourage all of you to watch multiple videos on a given game or a given topic before you went out and made a choice of purchasing something and wouldn't just rely on any one person's view. Uh, and the reason why I brought that up is because I saw a couple of uh, posts the other day on Board Game Geek, and there was one chap uh, wondering whether it'd be worthwhile having uh, a, a video uh, a channel that was just posted negative reviews. I was like, whoa, I mean, who wants to go play really bad games? <laughs> I have the expectation that any game I play is going to have some redeeming features in it and that it will be, has some potential. Uh, now, he was a game designer as well, so maybe if he put a twist on it and said, hey, this is a really bad game, but here's how you could fix it as a designer, he could, he could do that with you. Uh, so I thought, I thought that was kind of curious, and there's been some other stuff floating around on Facebook and whatnot and uh, Twitter about authenticity and people actually playing the games and uh, whether folks are actually doing any more than uh, you know receiving a free copy and then throwing it up on the shelf. So I hope that uh, you now all 100% uh, clear that I'll do my best to play all of them that uh, I buy or receive. I will uh, let you know what I have purchased and what I've received a complimentary from a, a publisher or sometimes it's the designer themselves will send me a game and the publisher won't be involved because the publisher doesn't want to give free games away. Uh, and, and then uh, you, if I ever do collaborative stuff with a vendor or a designer and there's uh, money changing hands or stuff changing hands, you'll know that. Uh, you know, sometimes I wear lock and load t-shirts or Vento Nuovo t-shirts. I've received all those for free, right? They, uh, well, actually not all of them because some of them come with a game uh, when you, uh, when you uh, purchase the game on Kickstarter. But uh, the lock and load stuff I got all for free at one point. Uh, so, uh, you know, there's that, right? GMT has sent me, uh, or uh, Roger McGowan has sent me some uh, posters. Uh, that was nice as well. Uh, that doesn't influence my my uh, commentary on his magazine, his games, or any of that nature. But anyway, just full disclosure there, I think I've pretty much covered it all. All right, so I just wanted to share that. I don't know if it, it even matters to anybody. If it does matter, let me know in the comments. If it doesn't matter, let me know in the comments uh, down below because I'd be real keen to hear what you guys think about the state of the hobby as far as it goes with uh, honest reviewing and uh, and that type of thing, uh, the, um, the the comments that, and videos you see that you like from other uh, vloggers, I tend not to watch a lot of other vloggers because I don't want their opinions and comments on their game, the games they're playing uh, uh, or looking at or talking about to influence what I'm seeing and feeling and doing with the games. So I'd be curious to see what your thoughts are about all that. All right, uh, talk to you soon. That's all I had to share with you. Ciao. Hey.